In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert photos into black and white and use different adjustments to enhance them. We can see the two photos in the browser on the right. I'll work on this image first and then move on to this one. Let's go back to the first image and I'll hide my browser so we have more space. First, let's go to my Color Tool tab and convert this into black and white. I'll brighten the skin a little by increasing the red slider. Now let's add some contrast. So I'll go back to my Exposure Tool tab and increase this slightly. And I'll lift the shadows also. I don't want this to feel too flat, so I'll darken the blacks to get a bit more contrast. So now I'd love to enhance this light that's coming across the image and really draw your eye towards the couple. I'll go up to the Layers tool and select the Radial Gradient Cursor tool. Now I can click and hold on the image and start dragging to add my radial mask. If I press the shortcut M, I can see the mask. So I'll press this again to hide it. Now I can reposition the mask by simply dragging it. I'll make this a bit bigger by pulling the handles and let's rotate it so it matches the light that's already there. Now I'll increase the feather so it's nice and soft. So I'll go to my exposure tool and just lower the brightness until I'm happy with the intensity. So this works for me. If I turn off this layer and now back on, you can see how this just enhances what's already there. Let me rename this layer gradient so we keep everything organized. Now I'd like to add some grain. I'll go to my Details Tool tab and I want to select the background layer. Let me zoom in so I can see the effect. So 50% will be fine for this. Now I can go down to my Film Grain tool and for this image I'll use Harsh Grain. So Impact will determine how strong the effect will be. So somewhere around there looks good. Granularity determines how much grain per pixel there is, so I'll just lower this slightly to soften the effect. Let's look at the original without any adjustments, and now with only a few quick edits. Let's take a look at the second image now. I'll head to my Color Tool tab and just turn on the black and white conversion. Now I'll go back to the Exposure Tool tab to make some further adjustments. So I'd like to lower my exposure slightly and I'll add some more contrast and let's brighten those midtones a little with the brightness slider. So we're losing some detail in the sky so I'll lower my highlights as well to recover those. Let's lift the shadows so we have more detail in those areas and I still want some contrast so I'll lower the blacks also. Now I'd like to darken some of the brighter areas at the top of the image. I'll go up to my Layers tool and add a new filled layer. So this will add a mask to the entire image. Let me press M to show the mask. So I'll hide this now and I can rename this layer Darken. I'll go to my Exposure tool and lower the brightness. So somewhere around there looks good. Now I don't want to add this adjustment everywhere, so I'll go up to the Layers tool and right click on the layer and then select Clear Mask. So this will remove the mask but keep that adjustment. I'll choose my Brush tool and open the Cursor tool settings here. I'll lower the flow to around 5 to build up the effect gradually and set the hardness to 0 so the edge is nice and soft. Let's pull out the Exposure tool so I can tweak this further if I need to. Now I can start painting over areas I'd like to darken. So around here in the sky. And remember you can change the brush size using the square bracket keys. OK, so let's bring down the brightness a little more. And this works for me. So I'll put the Exposure tool back. And now turn the layer off and on to see the effect. And I can lower the opacity as well. I'd like to print this photo so to visualize the final image better I can quickly change the background color of the viewer. 
I'll turn on the proof margin so I can see a wider border around the photo and then right click anywhere in the border. Now I'll change the viewer to white. To make it even cleaner, I can also hide the viewer labels by going up to View, Customize Viewer, and then Labels. So here is our photo without any adjustments, and now with a few quick simple edits.